Yes, dear. Yes, dear. No, dear, I understand my little mollusk. Yes, I'll go get the clams. Oh, I have some nice ones on the boat, my little cherry stone. Yes, well, it's been nice talking to... Yes, my little lobster tail, I'll go get the clams. Clams, 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 I'm trying to sleep. All I hear is clams. Why don't you clam up? I'm sorry there, Krabby. The missus is making her a seafood surprise tonight. As long as the surprise isn't crab cakes, I couldn't care less. Keep an eye on the place while I go get the clams. Yeah, clams, clams. I can dig it. Was that a joke? No. Was what a joke? Keep an eye on the place. Yeah, through the lids. Cause I'm gonna be sleeping! You didn't tell me your uncle lived in a dump. This looks like Neptune's garage. Nice. Show some respect. My Uncle Salty is in the Sea Captain's Hall of Fame. This is his priceless collection of memories gathered from his adventures. Each object has a terrific story. His parents named him Salty? Be very careful! Everything here is an irreplaceable treasure. You got a dustpan? Matthew, don't touch anything else! Hey, A TV! At least there's something from this century. Does your uncle have any video games? This is Rocky Shore for Kohan Corner News. Great. Public access. As the summer ends, the barnacles get scraped off the seals as they lay in the sun, trying to avoid the great white billowing sails of the majestic schooners as they make their way through. Bayside Cranberry Growers are predicting a much larger crop than usual this year because of the large amount of llamas. Llamas? Hey, kid, will you stop with the button pushing? You're making me nauseous. Hey. He can see me? Hi, Mr. Shore. This is my friend, Matthew. Hi, Val. It's nice to see you. And as for the button pusher with the ugly t-shirt, hello. It's my favorite band. Sorry, Mr. Shore. Matthew doesn't understand how this TV works. I know how TV works. Mr. Shore keeps Uncle Salty up to date on all the exciting, amazing, thrilling news stories. Exciting, amazing, thrilling? Llamas? Knock it off. Each channel transports Mr. Shore to new exotic locations. Pretty high tech for a clam shack. Let's see. Oh, great! I can see my breath! Phil, get my muck luck! Give me that. Thanks, Val. Matthew, you can't play with this. This is a very delicate device. What does this red button do? No, not the, the red, red button! button. Change the channel! Change the channel! Change the channel! Honkin' halibut! Don't let that little devil touch the remote again! What? What did I do? Matthew, you're a problem, you know that? Look, kids, I haven't had this much fun since I had my appendix removed. This is Rocky Shore signing off for Kohog Corner News! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Mr. Shore. So not all this junk is junk, huh? I told you. Look over here. This is the Magical Miracle Metaphysical Music Box. That's a lot of M's. With a minuscule, multi-talented musician. Mm-hmm. The box plays whatever you want. What does? The box. The box? You ask the box. You ask the box what? What? Did you eat the blowfish for lunch? Here, let me show you. What is this, another magic TV thing? Val, it's been too long, love. You should visit more. It can get pretty stuffy in that box, you know. Dullsville. I know how you feel. This is the magical maestro. His name's Dave. Hi, Dave. You're a musician, huh? I am. You want to hear my theme song? Do I have it? I love this song. Hey, friend, could you please do me a favor? I've got a great big dream and I can't make it happen alone. Let me sing you a song Baby, you can't go wrong We'll make beautiful harmony If you just sing along It's not so easy getting your attention I've done everything I can Trying to make you see Don't be fooled by my signs I'm more than meets the eye Surprise! Cause I'm a magic metaphysical miniature miracle maestro I got rhythm, I got music, and I've always got something to say Yes, I'm a magic metaphysical miniature miracle maestro I got a super special shiny new song for you
that? You're a talented tiny toonsmith. Rock on, mate, and enjoy your visit to the corner. Cheers! This ship in a bottle is cool. Where's the snow? Oh no, don't touch that! What's the big deal? It's just a- <laughs> Boris Pestonek Semyonovich took over me. He who is responsible will die more deaths than Rasputin. Ivan the Red will make the suffering of the... Oh, hello, honey. I didn't know it was you. Why all the making with the shaking? Oh, this is my friend, Matthew. He's sorry. He didn't know. This is his first time here. More careful. He should be. Why, there are many things of great value here in Salty's House of Fish. And my bottle is the most fantastical of all the cluttering tchotchkes here. Sorry, I didn't know. Captain Redbeard was put under a spell. By an evil sea witch. And he's cursed to stay with his ship forever. She shrunk it down. Put it in a bottle. And then threw it out into the depths of the briny blue. Uncle Salty pulled him out from the depths with his fishing net and rescued him. Correction! I permitted the jolly roly-poly captain to transport me here where I can focus my gray cells on breaking the spell. And then I will return to rule the seven seas, inspiring fear into the hearts of men. <laughs> He's a little terrifying, Val. No, he's actually sweet. We love having you here, Captain. Why, thank you, Val. It's much more comfy and cozy here than in the murky depths of the icy, inky darkness. Icy? Inky. Darkness. <laughs> that tickles me. Val, are you all right? I heard you. Hi, Uncle Salty. <laughs> oh, Captain? Captain? What brings you out into the open? This mischievous melt chick here summoned me by disturbing my slumber. Oh, <coughs> and who are you? I'm, I'm the mischievous mal... what he said. I'm Matthew, Mr. Salty, sir. Oh, everybody just calls me Captain Salty, except my wife depending on her mood. Please, Captain Redbeard, show Matthew one of your wonderful tricks. Oh, yes, my friend. One of those spectacular, stupendous, unbelievable feats you do. You are too kind. But do not cease. Keep it coming. You do tricks? I do. Everyone, hold on to the bottle. Hold on. Put down the clams. Hold on. Oh, I love it when we do this. Piece of pie. Are you kidding me? I never kid. That was Captain Kid. He was a big kidder. Always with the whoopee cushion and the pfft. Never mind. A tasteless clown. Captain, could you take us someplace nicer? Someplace nicer, someplace nicer. Hold on. Next time for the fun-filled, exciting conclusion of Quahog Corner, when you'll hear Captain Salty ask that age-old question. Seafood surprise? Where's the clams? And we'll get a very special visit from Professor Ty Conderoga and his magnificent machine. Don't miss all of this and more when Quahog Corner continues. So come on down to Quahog Corner! <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, you'll want to check out the Quahog Corner app, which features coloring pages, expert drawing lessons, the magic aquarium, and all your favorite characters from Quahog Corner. You can learn all about it 
at CohogCorner.com. See you there.